Hello everyone, Vortex TCG here, and today I've got another gameplay video from my recent trip to my locals. And today I'm going to be playing a deck that I played previously and kind of enjoyed it, so I wanted to make a more competitive version of the deck, and that is Chessmon. And my opponent on the right is going to be playing Royal Knights. And if you're looking forward to this gameplay video, please do like and subscribe. It really does mean a lot to help support the channel. Um, I just want to say thank you, by the way, for the amount of growth that we've had in the past uh, week or so. Like, just want to say thank you. It really does mean a lot. Um, so, apologies for the glare here, but I go into the Mammon. Look at the top five. Unfortunately, I don't have a tamer, but what it allows me to do is change the order of the top uh, top five cards, so I can put them either to the top or to the bottom, which is something that I didn't realize was so good in this deck but uh it's pretty good so he swings at security and hits a pawn at chess mall which is very unfortunate for my opponent it seems that my opponent might be having some problems maybe not going into a magnamon a dinosmon or applying some early pressure so a bit worrying for my opponent here apologies here i was just trying to sort out the camera but i think this is the best that i could potentially do so you can see me here <laughs> trying to change it and uh, I don't know, I don't think it really did that much, unfortunately, so, um, yeah, so, I just moved the card here just to get out of the glare, but, uh, throughout the game there will be a little bit of glare, so I apologise for that. Uh, so my opponent goes into the magnet and then passes to four, and not too sure how I feel about this, um, the magnet is obviously very nice, but he's essentially given me, uh, free memory, so, this card that is a proxy here is a Gigimon from BT11, so, here I'm gonna be revealing the top three cards and playing a Tamer for free, um, allows me to play the Keenan, which forces him to, well, doesn't force him, but you can trash a Tamer or an option card, if not, I gain a memory and draw a card, um, yeah, so just a proxy here, uh, I was, uh, a person that comes to locals was, uh, said that they were going to let me borrow their GG Mons, but uh, unfortunately, um, they forgot them, which is perfectly fine, so we just proxy them. Um, interesting debate going on in the comment section, by the way, about the proxies. Um, <laughs> so, here I swing at the security with the GG Mon, allows, and then I finish the turn by playing the Duo Tamer. Um, I play the Blocker one, which allows me to tap to get a memory and draw a card. So, at this point, uh, I feel a lot, a pretty confident. Uh, my opponent has got two Emeka Mons out that he kind of needs to delete so he can get his stat going because he's not really playing many guys out, unfortunately. So, I'm just checking the card here because I haven't played against Royal Knights that much, if I'm being perfectly honest. So, uh, he goes, uh, obviously to go into, so he swings the security. Um, it's another Keenan, which is very unfortunate for my opponent. Uh, he doesn't want to get rid of, so uh, he ends up, uh, what was it, playing the, uh, getting me a Maria and drawing a card, and then I, uh, block with the other pawn, allow me to use Keenan to gain two memory, continue or pass it to my turn. So, uh, very nasty combo of cards here. The Keenan on the opponent's turn is so good. Um, so I swing with the pawn chessmon, get to play another pawn chessmon out. Uh, the duo tamer allows me to gain a memory and draw a card here, which is very, very nice. Once you get this deck going, it feels like it's almost impossible uh, to lose. So I swing with the GG Mon, allows me to look at the top card for as many black or green tamers here, and then allows me to uh, play a well Digimon up to the cost of 10. So here I play the Knight Chessmon. And so here um, the Gigimon unfortunately dies, but it does all the work it needs to essentially here. So now, just considering what my next like, my line of play is now, I've got free memory, so I could potentially be more aggressive now, especially as my opponent only has two Omeka Mons that unfortunately for my opponent are not going away so here i end up going into the uh, knights mon here just so i can provide a blocker and the crucial part about this card is the fact that it's a 4k dp which means i can block the emeka and then continue my turn so here i'm going to block with the knight mon and then i get to play a knight or well, a level four or lower from my hand for free i play another knight mon gain two memory and continue my turn i then promote the junk mon here and then uh, i'm pretty able to just go for swing for security. 
then get into game two. My opponent's going to start off first, which is uh, very interesting. I don't think Royal Knights like do start first unless they get a pretty decent start. And my opponent just hard plays in a Mechamon here, so not too sure what is going on here. I feel like my opponent might be. I don't know, I think in a Royal Knights you just want to look for your Dinosmon or your Magnemons all the time. Um, now I get to play the Duo Tamer, allow me to play a Chess Chessmon and also get to play the Keenan to get a memory and go to my turn. So, awful start again. Um, well, for, for, it's not an awful start, my opponent can do, only do as much as he could, but um, just really good uh, luck on my part here. I swim with the Nightmon, it doesn't die, so I guess like it doesn't work in both ways but i get to play the pawn chest mon again here gain a memory draw a card and then i go into the mammy mon to pass the turn reveal the top five and then i also get to play the tamer here and again the proxy card is gg mon from bt11 um just as a heads up so here i'm just reorganizing the cards and the rest uh, go to the top or the bottom so um, and then pass, I'm just thinking if I want to play the effect from the Tamer, I do, so I play the Pawn Chess Mon, and then I go into Gigi Mon, which allows me to reveal the top three. There isn't a Tamer here, so it is what it is, um, but uh, yeah, we go to the bottom, and then I get to reboot, and then uh, yeah, got a pretty good opening uh, start here, so swing into security. Uh, I don't have a blocker here, so oh, I do have a blocker because the Mammy Mon uh, goes into a Keenan again, and uh, yeah, my f opponent is definitely frustrated, and I can't really blame him. I mean, what are you meant to do in this situation? Like, if like this is just insane luck, just plain and simple, just hit him. Like with Chessmon, you kind of just want to get like one or two Tamers that gets you the ball rolling, but when you get to this point where you can play a chess bond for free and then also get the Keenan effect, which is very powerful. It's kind of insane. So he uses Kentaurus Mon to put Marcus Damon to the top of security, uh, then gains the memory back, I believe, uh, continuing his turn. And so, but unfortunately, he doesn't have Rush. So he's just providing um, a way to survive and also get a tamer out. He then plays the Fasco Mon to delete the level three Pawn Chess Mon, but obviously um, cannot do that. And um, I'm pretty sure the King Drasil doesn't count as an effect or by playing an effect. Otherwise, I would have used the Keen in there. So um, yeah, so I swing at security, hit the Marcus. Uh, deletes it, play another Pawn Chess Mon, gain a lot of memory, uh, and draw two cards there. This engine is just so good, like I can't, I don't know what is with these cards, but um, Chess Mon, I don't think it's a deck you can sleep on. I think it actually is genuinely pretty good. Um, like, look at the boards that I'm producing uh, through not a lot of resources, if I'm being perfectly honest, and uh, in later games you'll see how robust this deck can be so uh i reveal a gigimon unfortunately and uh yep so everything goes to the trash when i swing with the gigimon and then now uh, i've got well obviously a lot of memory to play with um so i just go into the nightmon here and then here i think i'm considering playing a decent card in the Flame Hell Scythe, which allows me to do minus 6k to the Fasco Mon, and then I also get to play a 6k DP that is purple or yellow, and that is going to be the Knight Mon here because um, when I was originally reading uh, the card, I was like, oh, you get to just play a 6k DP guy. No, it has to be purple or yellow, otherwise, Mammy Mon would be insane. Um, so I decided to block here, use the effect of the uh, Nightmon to play another Nightmon and tap to gain two memory. Not sure if I should have done that perhaps, but uh, could protect, protect protect me in a future turn. So uh, from him, oh, I want him to give a lot of memory essentially. So he's going to do that and he's going to use the Gallantmon and it it's, uh, allows him to delete one of the Nightmons here. Um, but... Weirdly enough, this deck uh, at the 5 to 6 level positions itself really nicely against Gallimon because everything's like 7k to 11k, uh, so kind of nutty. So, Swing of the Nightmon, it goes into an Omnimon, I get to play another Nightmon here, gain 2 memory, draw 2 cards here, which is uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, so now, uh, I've 
got a lot of memory to play with. It's just, am I able to swing for game? And probably not here. I'm surprised that my opponent didn't block the guy with the Ganku here. I mean, I probably would have kept him alive for at least a little bit longer. Um, so I'll go into the Nightmon in Raising here. And now it's just a case of me setting up just in case he actually does have a pretty explosive turn coming up. So here I end up going in. Well, I've got three memory left, so I play the King at Chessmon here because I have eight or more. I can reduce the cost by eight. I'm going to delete the Nightmon here to play another guy out, which is going to be the Rook. And unfortunately, I don't have anything to play from the Knight Chess, which is very unfortunate. So he's going to go to free memory. He's going to play a Blanc, Treasure Card, draw two. And um, yeah, I think this is pretty much ropes, unfortunately, for my opponent. Um, hit some really unfortunate security, so I don't know what you're really meant to do in that situation, but uh, yeah. So he plays the Omnimon here, he gets rid of everything to play out the guys, um, uses I believe the Ganku or the Kantorus Mon to recover one, or not recover one, he just reveals one, um, and then he also gains memory back, uh, which puts him to one, well puts me to one, so unfortunately not able to continue his turn, but he can't delete anything from my board with the Gallantmon, which is very unfortunate, and then he also plays the Jezmon from the Ganku Mon here, which allows him to delete a couple of guys, um, so in this case I believe he's going to delete uh, 6k and then 2k for each other guy, so it's going to delete one of the Rookmons, I was going to delete both the Rookmons, so then I have, unfortunately, two Rookmons to play, and then, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what are you meant to do? Like, this is how, like, you, you just avoid deletion in this deck, essentially, by playing out other guys, and your opponent goes, well, I guess I can't get rid of them, so, uh, goes to my turn, I promote, and then pretty much swing for game.